In this video, I share with you some of the best opportunities, buy the dip opportunities when it comes to Solana meme coins in particular. I'm gonna go through a few of these that I'm watching very, very carefully at the moment. And by the way, I've been helping with my videos navigate you through this current bull market we're experiencing at the moment. If you've been enjoying the content, if it's been helping with you, don't forget to click the like button. I really appreciate the support I've been receiving, all of the nice messages. Thank you very much for that. So we're gonna start with Bonk, which is one of the premium coins on Solana at the moment. And just now in this recent run up from 25th of February, all the way up to the 4th of March, we saw we hit exactly round number again, 3 billion. People who say technical analysis doesn't work, why are these numbers so uh, perfectly hitting uh, target areas? So this is exactly 3 billion where we peaked and now we've been selling off. And I like to use Fibonacci when I look for pullbacks as well, but I also look at the setup thereafter. And so far, we've pulled back all the way down to about 1.35. And if you just take the Fib levels from the most recent move, and if you look to see where the areas of support are, you can see we're kind of in between 618 and 786. I like the 786 level, especially for meme coins. And I wouldn't be surprised if we have a bit more of a dip to go. Please watch my most recent video, which is the buy the dip video. This is appropriate to cryptocurrency, all cryptocurrency, like altcoins, meme coins as well. And the reason you'll find it useful is because we're undergoing a little bit of a pullback right now with cryptocurrency and we don't know how long it's going to last, but for me, it's not the time element that's that important, it's more the price element that's more important because we make money when the price goes up. Obviously, if you're shorting the market, you make money when the price goes down. It doesn't matter when it happens, really. So if we go sideways or lower, sideways or higher for a, a while, it doesn't make a difference. I hope, hope that's clear. And you need to be patient with these opportunities. So if you're now, for example, brand new and you want to dip into some meme coins, don't just blindly buy meme coins I'm discussing with you in this particular video. I'm just showing you ones that I'm looking for setups in right now. Some of the ones I'm discussing today, I don't even have a position in, I'm waiting. So for example, Bonk is one where I'm waiting to see if we get the right setup. So this is on my watch list. There are some others that I am not watching or I have removed from my watch list because the price has dipped so much that it, it can't be considered a bullish setup anymore. And I'll show you those as well in just a minute. For example, one of them that I did really well on, and I've got a video on this as well, where I show you proof uh, of the money I made on this particular one. This was called Nick, I choose rich every time. Very, very nice um, uh, launch here. They had lots of interest on Twitter, very popular with influencers, and then it died off, but it died off too deep. This needed to correct to this level, hold around here, and then maybe in time, when all of cryptocurrency started rallying again, it would pull up for a next leg. It's gone past that. It's gone way past the point of no return. That's the problem with some of these. And GameStop was another one that potentially could be setting up, but then it didn't work out. And you have to learn when trading cryptocurrency to think short term. This is the opposite to what other influencers say. And I'm just telling you the reality and the truth. You have to think a little bit more short term. If something's not working out, you need to get out. Trust me, you'll save much more money in the long run by getting out of the position because most of the positions trend down especially with meme coins. I've discussed it many, many times on my channel. Everything trends down and that's 99.9%. .9 and then you get the few percent that don't do that. Those are the coins I'm discussing in this particular video. These are the outliers. And the reason they're good for setups is with meme coins, you can easily get big runups. For example, let's discuss whiff, dog whiff hat. This is one of those outliers. You can see very clearly Every time it's ran before, it's pulled back, but it never pulled back all the time to anywhere near the lows. It pulled back to a healthy number and then started pushing on again. So we can even check the previous moves here to prove that. So for example, it first ran up to 300 million, pulled back to 100 or so, saw very good support, ran up to 500, then went sideways, had a pullback to 180. So healthy, but not extremely deep pullbacks, very healthy pullbacks. You can check the Fib levels on here as well. And you can see a lot of them are 786. It pops up again and again because with meme coins, because the multiples are so high upwards, you get deeper corrections. That's why you see 786 more. Whereas with general cryptocurrency, you tend to see 0.5 and 0.618 more, the golden zone. 
Now here, we can see it's pulling back, but notice it's not selling off anywhere near as much as some of the other meme coins. It's very, looking very strong. Hit 3.5, even number, and it's been see, uh, getting support at around the 2 billion mark. Now, we may get a deeper pullback, and that's what I'm looking for. And I'm currently not in here because I would only get involved if I see a good entry. But notice that even here, when it was at two or 300 million, many people would think that's already too big for a meme coin. Clearly they were wrong and from there it 10 x So even at a 200, 300 million market cap, understand that coins can 10 x especially in meme coin land. This is where things get crazy. Um, but again, be careful, take profits. Like if you ran this position up and you're just holding here, that's that's great, you know, that, if that's the way you want to trade it, that's great. But me personally, I would definitely be taking some profits here at this level because you don't know for 100% sure if this is the end of the meme coin cycle. We will never know. So we're looking for pullbacks and if they start to act bullish again and we start attacking all-time highs, then yeah, it's pretty obvious then eventually we will be going for another leg up. Then it's pretty obvious. So just keep that in mind as well. Let's discuss a few other ones. So some other ones I'm looking at. This is one that I did again quite well on. Um, this was Peng and this is one I discussed many coins actually in my training program. First link in description if you're interested where I break down many, many more coins in terms of setups. But some of these now again are getting a little bit deep in terms of their correction. Notice I talked about WIF before. It got to two, 300 million, got support at 100 million. This is getting support at 50, 50 million or so. But now we need to see it kind of hold. If it doesn't, then to be honest, this is another one. I wipe off my list and I move on. I don't get emotionally kind of involved with any of these meme coins or communities. I'm just looking to trade positions and make profits where I can. That's what you should be doing if you're trading meme coins. This is another one that I liked before. And again, it's getting a little bit deep in terms of correction. So it's one I've got on my watch list. You might consider doing that too. The price is looking very, very attractive, but we need to see proper bullish price action breakouts, volume coming in, new volume below. That's what I'm looking to see. So this is called Melon, um, uh, which is again is related to the dog with hat uh, meme basically. This is a good one to have on your watch list. Very bullish before then, nice bullish price action. Um, but the pullback is getting a little bit deeper now. Next one, Miro, um, quite a healthy pullback. So it was hitting these 450 levels, couldn't quite break them. Uh, getting a lot of support at 200. So it's definitely not dipped significantly. That's 50%, um, which like I said before, in meme coin world, that's not a, a big uh, dip at all. That's kind of shallow, if anything. So if it gets support around 200, um, I actually took a small position in this already because I was seeing some uh, bullish action, a little bit of divergence, but really the volume still hasn't come in. And the problem is if all of crypto keeps heading down, this will keep heading down as well. So, and I don't know where the level will be. I'll be looking for bottoming patterns, like double bottoms and things like that. And then even then your entry is never gonna be perfect, but it doesn't matter that much because if the true bottom is 150 or 210 or 180, we don't know exactly where it's gonna be. As long as you're buying in this region and this goes up to 2 billion, which is a 10X from there, it doesn't really matter exactly precisely where you get in. You just want to make sure you're in the stronger uh, Solana meme coins, not the weak ones. And during this dip, those that are not really selling off that much like dog with, dog with hat, they're going to obviously be the stronger ones. And those are ones you can capitalize on. And some of those I'm discussing today. Another one I really like is Stan. So this is the Stanley Cup. And this particular one, has had a nice run. And again, this was one I made money on. And this has pulled back to around, well, it looks like 23 million mark. And it's looking strong already. But again, I have to see exactly what's going on with crypto. And we'll see if it can maintain this uptrend with higher lows. And if it does do that, this could easily 10x from here as well. 10x is nothing from 20 million mark, it's only 200 million. That's not a massive meme coin. And this one, has excellent socials, really, really good Twitter account um, and community. So this, I think, has good potential as well. Next one, Ponke. This is another one I really liked, but the dip is getting a little bit deep now, so you have to be careful. The good thing is, when it comes to dip trading, uh, especially with meme coins, if it gets deeper and it gets to 20, but then it gets some consolidation and then it starts to push up, 
even if it never quite reaches all-time highs again and it's done as a coin, just getting to 60 million and then falling apart, you can still make money, believe it or not, in that. You can still get 2x or 3x out of even that move. So not all is lost. So just keep that in mind as well. But making the big multiples, um, you're not going to make them on altcoins. You'll make decent returns on altcoins. They'll take longer as well. The big multiples are to be made on meme coins more so than anything else, uh, if I'm honest. Um, and you don't need to take my word for it. Again, you will have heard of loads and loads of people doing crazy multiples on Twitter, on YouTube as well. Just check the top traders tab on any of these and you'll see amazing returns. But just remember, most people still don't know how to trade meme coins properly and they still fall for rugs and scams. And if that's happened to you, don't worry, it's where we all started, but you must learn what you're doing from here. You must avoid rugs and scams. Like first, first step, like avoid that because that's just you giving your money away. Don't do that. Please don't do that. Now, if you trade one of these coins and it doesn't work out and you take a little bit of a loss of 10 or 20% of your position, that's fine. That's not the end of the world. At least you're learning um, and you just need to improve your trading entry and exit. And then at the end of the day as well, you're taking a position. The probability might be higher of it working out. It's not guaranteed though, is it? So you, over the course of taking 10 positions, then it might work out, which is why now in my next round of buying dips on meme coins, which I'm doing over the coming days and weeks, if I see some good entries, I'll be involved in five to 10 coins. I'm never just in one coin for these longer term positions. I'm in a few. And just one of them needs to 10x. So if even all of the others were losses and I take 10 or 20% haircuts on all of the others, do the maths. If just one is 10x, um, it, it literally will double, at least double my account, if not more, even if all of the others took 20% uh, losses. So that's how I think about it with meme coins. Next one, Book of Meme, B-O-M-E, boom. And this is one I discussed recently on the channel. I think it was just a kind of a week, week and a half ago, something like that. And the uh, what we were wondering then was whether this particular leg, the initial uh, massive wave up, was not over yet and whether it had a little bit more to go. It was going to have a pullback and then go for a little bit more one time, but that didn't happen in the end. And it's pulled back uh, way too much for it to be the same wave. So this is a local top. This is the end of a wave. Now, it's interesting to see if it can uh, hold support and go up for another wave. And this could take a little bit of time or it may already be beginning right now. I'm assuming it could have already started. And as a lot of the other meme coins have been selling off a bit, this is looking strong. So I've automatically noticed that. So I've already taken a small position. I may add to it if we continue to see strength. Now, if it looks like we're going to pull back more, I'm looking to see if we hit the same 500 million level for support again and then bounce off. If we ladder up and keep going up from here, that's fine too. So why, why this one? Why this one in particular? Well, the first in anything always tends to be the best and the strongest, not the derivatives. It's actually the first one in the collection. The derivatives all die off very quickly, never pump as much, and are just very, very risky. So I kind of tend to avoid them with meme coins. So this particular one was one of the first ones that had that massive, really big pre-sale where it raised millions and millions. And it actually is a very good meme coin. And the Twitter is very, very active. And the person behind it, they're doing a great job with the artwork and uh, continuing to manage the community. So because this is the first of this new batch, this new narrative, this ha definitely has potential to run the same way Dog With Hat did. So it's one I'm just watching very closely. Now, what we need to see is volume coming. We saw a little bit, but it's not enough. We need to see more volume coming in and sustained bullish price action. Until we see that, we can't confirm that this is now returned to a bullish trend. This could be a dead cat bounce, meaning it could have bounced to here, might get to a billion level and then just sell off again. So with these ones, you just have to be a little bit careful but that's cryptocurrency and that's meme coin trading. Nothing is guaranteed. Let's just see if there's any others. Another one I really like is PopCat. Let's just zoom out. Again, it's a very well-established one now on uh, Solana. And look at the price action. It's really, really healthy. It had initial peaks, 50 million, pull back to six, seven million. Um, and then it burst through that level. And then it's gone up all the way up to nearly 400 million pull back down to about 100, seeking support there, looking very strong, very, very strong. So it's another one I really like. Again, look for the setups, 
look for the volume. These are all things I discuss on my training program. If you do have the budget for that, it will be very helpful. It takes, I mean, it's many, many hours of training, so it will take time to go through all of it. But you have the time now because I think uh, crypto will be a little bit slow for a short while. So it's time to learn, um, educate yourself. Start with small positions. So people sometimes comment on my videos and they're like, I tried meme coin trading and I lost 10 soul like in a day and I don't know what the hell I'm doing. What, how can you lose 10 soul if you're taking positions of for 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 soul? Start slow. Don't just randomly ape in with 5 or 10 soul of your hard-earned money um, and then just give it all back to the market and just lose it all. Don't do that. Start small if you don't know what you're doing. There's no rush. The bull market's here for a while. There's absolutely no rush with this. And if we're going through a bit of a slow period right now, you've probably got, um, I mean, anytime suddenly, you know, Bitcoin could just suddenly go up like, to, you know, 5 or 10%. So, so I can't say for sure. But I do get the feeling that we might have a period of at least days when things are slower, if not going into a few weeks. And that's normal. Even in a crypto bull market, you have times, periods of consolidation, periods when things are a little bit slower. So this is a great time for you to learn, take small positions. I use Bonkbot personally. Uh, I'll also link that in the description below. I use that when I'm trading Solana meme coins. I don't like using Radium or Jupiter or anything like that. Bonkbot is just easy because I can set up the buttons how I want to. It's easy to buy and sell out of positions. Many people get caught out using Bonkbot too and they, they complain about it, but learn how to use it properly. Understand that Bonk has five other backup bots that are all connected to your same wallet as well that you can easily use if one a transaction gets stuck anywhere. So you can use those as well. Very, very easy to do. In fact, I'll show you here on my bunk bot. Just type in the command forward slash bots, B-O-T-S. And then it shows you the five backup bots that you can use. So if you're stuck and your bunk bot, so let's say you're using Sonic, is not working. Click on one of the others, type in the same contract address or click on sell and manage or click on forward slash home. And you can carry on with your transactions. You don't need to use the same bunk bot. They, that's why they have a few of them. In case one again gets stuck, there's congestion or anything like that, use one of the others. Very, very easy to do. Finally, if you have any questions about meme coin trading, please let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for listening.